Hi guys, welcome to Alex Goes Coconuts. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show you how I pack for a seven day cruise to Mexico in a carry-on. So I'm actually packing for my family of four, my husband and my two kids. We're from Canada. We have to fly to Florida to get to the cruise port. So we decided to not pack any checked luggage because they do charge quite a lot for checked luggage. So we're going to be packing everything in carry-on. So each one of us is going to bring one carry-on suitcase and one backpack or bag as our personal item. So all the items I'm going to talk about today, I will try to put the links in the description box down below if you are looking to buy them. I know that when I watch travel videos, I like to see where everybody got their outfits. So I'll try to make that information available to you. Okay, so the first step before I even start packing is figure out how many days I'm gone for and I like to pack one or two outfits for each one of those days. So that way I limit how many clothes I'm bringing with me in my carry-on. So the next thing I like to do is I like to lay out all my clothes on my bed. That way I can see exactly what I'm bringing, if all the colors go well together, and how many pieces I have and if they're going to fit in my carry-on suitcase. Another thing to think about when you're trying to pack everything into a carry-on is what kind of shoes you're bringing on your trip. Shoes are the bulkiest item that you have to fit into your carry-on bag. So I usually won't pack more than three or four pairs of shoes and I'll usually find shoes that are versatile that I can match with different outfits. So let me show you the shoes that I'm bringing. I personally like a pair of platforms like this because they're a lot more comfortable to walk in than a pair of high heels. Uh, another reason why I chose this pair of heels is that the straps are clear so you can match this with any color of dress or outfit that you're wearing and it also has this really nice little uh, straw detail on the side with which adds some interest and it kind of looks tropical so it's kind of fun to wear on a cruise. The next pair is a little pair of white running shoes. White running shoes go pretty much with any outfit. Uh, these are super practical too because they're leather so if it rains you know my feet won't get wet. The next thing I'm bringing are two pairs of sandals. Now I went super simple on the sandals just a little pair of black flip-flops that I can wear to the pool or to the beach. The second pair I'm bringing is this one it's like a skin colored thong sandal and this is made out of like a super flexible rubber they're actually a dupe for uh, the Panama sandals I actually got these on Sheen they're just like a neutral pair and you can wear this with multiple outfits now those are pretty much all the shoes I'm gonna bring the one I'm debating about are my running shoes I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring these it depends how much room I have left in my carry-on suitcase I do have the white pair of sneakers that I could always wear in case if I do an excursion or if I want to work out on the boat. So when I'm packing, I'm going to see if these can fit in there. I decided to bring two little waist bags. These are great when you're doing excursions or when you're walking around the cruise, uh, you can carry anything you need to access really quickly. And at the same time, it keeps your stuff close to you if you are going into port. So these are small and they pack flat. So that's why I'm bringing two different colors to match the different outfits I have. Now I'm only going to be bringing one purse. This is for my evenings out. And what's Fun about this one is I thought it was super neutral. It looks good with pretty much any color. You can wear it with black, white, blue. So it, it looks good with almost all my outfits. The next thing I'm bringing is this little beach bag. It like lies flat in my suitcase, so it really doesn't take up a lot of room. It's in this straw material, so it looks pretty much good with all the outfits that I'm bringing on this trip. All right, so let's talk about the pieces of clothing that I'm bringing on my cruise. So the first thing I'm gonna be bringing are uh, these t-shirts. I have a whole bunch here. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six t-shirts that I'm gonna be bringing on my cruise. The next thing I'm gonna bring are a couple of tank tops. These I like to wear either with a skirt or with my shorts. Now, the first day is my travel day. I'm gonna be taking a plane. So I like to wear a nice, comfortable pair of jeans. And it's nice to have a little pair of jeans if it kinda gets cool at night. 
And I'm also going to wear this sweatshirt on top of it to stay warm during the flight. I always suggest to bring a little sweatshirt on a cruise just because, like I said, those nights can get cool and sometimes there's air conditioning on the cruise. So it's just nice to have something to throw over your shoulders to stay warm at night. Another pair of pants that I'm thinking of bringing are these white linen pants. These are just so practical to bring on a tropical vacation because they're light and airy and linen pants look great. Uh, even thrown over a bathing suit or something. Now I'm gonna pair these linen pants with a little silk tank top like this. So I will dress it up for the nighttime or I can also uh, match this with a t-shirt if I wanna just be more casual. A little striped t-shirt like this, you can never go wrong. So these can be dressed up or dressed down depending on the top you decide to wear with it. Another bottom I like to bring is this little super comfortable flowy skirt. Now I like to wear it with this white tank bodysuit that I bought. So this is one of the outfits I'm gonna wear for one of the nights at the restaurant. Another bottom that I'm bringing are these white jean shorts. I actually got these at Old Navy in a size 2. I bought also these t-shirts at Old Navy. These are little crop top t-shirts. They're made out of this super stretchy, lightweight material. I absolutely love these t-shirts. So I got myself like one in pink, one in that striped white and blue. And I can throw on one of these little waist packs. So if I am going out on port, I'm all ready to go. The next pair of shorts I'm bringing are these little linen shorts. These are so comfortable. Uh, they're great for a swimsuit cover-up. They're very light and airy, and I can wear these again just to lounge around uh, the cruise. And the last pair of shorts I'm bringing are these active running shorts. These are great because they're made out of that dry fit material. I bring these not only to work out in, but for my excursions. So one of the days on this cruise, I'm going to visit the Chacho Ben temples in Costa Maya and then we're getting onto a boat so I needed something that I can just wear on top of my bathing suit and I'm just gonna wear this with one of my active tank tops here I'm bringing two of them so if I want to work out one day and one for my excursion day I'm also gonna bring my black leggings here just in case I do want to work out or you know, for the flight back home, I can wear my leggings with uh, that sweatshirt I was showing you. This again, I also got from Sheen. It's from the company Glow Mode. So comfortable, they're buttery soft. I highly recommend if you are looking for a dupe for Lululemon, uh, try out Glow Mode, you won't be disappointed. Another really great piece if you're doing an excursion or you just want to lounge around on the boat is this little sports dress. I actually got this one on American Eagle. I just love the color, this like bright fuchsia pink. These are just so practical because the material is made for working out in and it's very breathable. You're also going to need some cover-ups. Uh, one of my favorite cover-ups is this white little dress that I got from Aerie. This is like just uh, one of these dresses you can just throw over your bathing suit if you're going into the buffet at lunch. Little cover-ups like this are always practical. Another cover-up or just loungewear for the cruise is this little one piece that I got at Old Navy. I just got it recently. It's so flowy and comfortable. I absolutely love it and it's perfect to just throw over your bathing suit and to walk around on the cruise. Another really fun dress that I like lounging around in is a maxi dress like this. I love just throwing this over a bathing suit or throwing this on in the morning when I'm going down for breakfast. You can also go visit any port in this and be super comfortable. Another dress I got at Old Navy is this little swing dress. I got this a long time ago, so I don't know if there's any left. Actually, this is one of the dresses I like to wear on embarkation day because it's just light and comfortable and I can wear it with flip-flops during the day, but at night dress it up with the heels. All right, another little outfit that I'm bringing is this cute little romper from Amazon. What I love about this romper is that it's very flattering on different kinds of body types. I'm thinking of pairing it with my uh, heels here so that I can dress it up for one of the evenings out and it'll look really good with that little purse that I decided to bring. The next dress I'm packing is this little black dress, I got this one on Sheen. Again, it's a cute little dress that you can dress up with some heels 
and a nice little bag and it looks super good for an evening out but you can also dress this down and wear it with flip-flops i'm also bringing this little navy blue dress this i also got on old navy i really like how it shapes my body and i'm just gonna pair this up with these heels and i have another dress for an evening out and the last dress i'm bringing is this dress this is like a long beautiful elegant dress that i bought myself on sheen i actually have a wedding that i'm going to this summer that's why i decided to buy it it's in this navy blue color it's just so pretty but i decided to bring it on the cruise for elegant night it's like in this kind of like stretchy material like a little jersey material so it doesn't wrinkle really easily and it's very easy to pack uh, in my suitcase I like to bring a cardigan like this, like a long sleeve cardigan that I can just throw over my shoulders if it's cool. I think this is going to look good with most of the dresses that I brought and a cardigan like this can be dressed up or dressed down. The next thing I'm going to be packing are my bathing suits. I like to bring three bathing suits to rotate throughout the days. That way if one is wet it has time to dry. The first uh, bikini that I like to bring is this little sporty one. This is cool because it kind of like is shaped like a sports bra. So it holds the girls in place if I'm doing any kind of like activity. This is usually what I'm gonna opt for if I'm doing an excursion or I'm going on a water slide. Now, if I'm just lounging by the pool or I'm going to the beach and I just want to take some sun and tan, I'll opt for this bikini. And the last bathing suit I'm bringing is a one piece. And this one piece, it's just so elegant because it's like got this like kind of one shoulder thing going. And what I love about this is I can just throw on a pair of pants or a pair of shorts with this. And this looks like a top. If you're doing something where you're in the sun for really long periods of time and you don't want to be reapplying sunscreen nonstop, it's just nice to have a rash guard to put on. I actually got this one on Amazon on, and I really like this company Roxy so a little rash guard like this will serve you well if you're doing any kind of activity a ball cap is always great because it won't fly off your head this one is made of a super lightweight material it's like this dry fit material and it's just so practical to have the second hat I'm bringing is this uh, sun hat what's cool about this is it's velcroed and it rolls up into this super small size like this. So this is easy to pack into your carry-on or to throw into your beach bag. And once you're, you decide to wear it, you just have to open it up. You Velcro the back and then you have a sun hat to protect you from the sun and protect your shoulders from getting burnt. I'm also gonna try to see if I can fit this little microfiber towel in my suitcase. I like to carry these on excursions. These are much lighter weight than the ones that the cruise ships offer you. And I'm also gonna bring this little uh, foam pouch to wear around my neck when I go into the ocean. So that way I can keep my valuables close to me and on me and not get them stolen. I'm gonna bring these little magnetic hooks. I can use these on all the walls in the cruise ships because they're all made of metal. So you can use these magnetic hooks to hang pretty much everything you need to get it off the floor and off the counter. The next thing I'm gonna pack are these little towel clips to clip on the towel so they don't fly away. It can get pretty windy. So they sell these little towel clips on Amazon. I'm also gonna bring a couple of little extra hangers in case I run out of room in the seat rooms. And I'm gonna pack this little laundry hamper so that my family can put their dirty clothes in here instead of like scattering them throughout the cruise. All right, so I will be using my packing cubes in the cruise ship. I don't really pull out everything out of my packing cubes. I just pull out, uh, you know, the bigger pieces and everything else stays in the packing cube. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll all my bottoms and fit them in this packing cube here. And then I'm gonna lay my t-shirts on top of it. Now I'm gonna do my tank tops. So I'm just gonna fit them into this smaller packing cube like this. And I'm gonna come and put my cover up here like so, close that up. Now let's pack all my dresses in this bigger packing cube. I'm going to just lay them down so they don't crease too much and I'll stagger them from side to side. Perfect. Next, 
are my bathing suits. So how I like to pack my bathing suits, I stack them one on top of the other. And I will also come and put my bras underneath the bathing suits so that it all stays nice and solid. And then I'll come and put these in the packing cube like this. I'll stuff all the matching underwear behind it because there's kind of like the holes where the cups are. And what I'll do is I'll keep the one piece bathing suit to bring in my carry on. So if they lose the luggage, at least I'll have one bathing suit to wear on that cruise. And there you go. All my bathing suits and my bras are in my packing cube. So I have like these little zippered snack pouches. I'm just gonna pack all my undergarments in here. That way, all my undergarments are in this little pouch. All right, so this is the suitcase that I'm bringing. It's basically a travel size suitcase. This is gonna be my carry-on. So the first thing I like to pack are my shoes because that's the bulkier items. So I'm gonna take my heels and I like to put them in a little shoe bag. And I like to pack my shoes here at the top of the suitcase and these are basically the shoes I'm going to wear uh, when I'm going onto the plane so I'm going to keep these aside and then I have both my sandals here I like to stack them one on top of the other and I like to put them at the bottom here in between these two metal bars that are always found in suitcases next at the bottom I'm going to put these extra hangers and I'm also going to store these but to make sure they don't get wrecked I'm just going to put them in a little zippered snack bag put that at the bottom here then i have my magnetic hooks i also have my pop-up hamper as well as my little dry bag for my phone i'm also going to come and put my waist pouch my black waist pouch at the bottom here so it's out of the way all right so now let's put my packing cubes in my large one goes at the bottom right here my medium one i kind of stuff it in to be on the side there. Then I have my small garments bag as well as my bathing suit bag. I also have this little towel that I wanted to bring. So I'm gonna roll up this Velcroed sun hat, put this right here, and also my undergarments here in this pocket. And finally, my beach bag right here. And there you go, I was able to fit everything for my cruise in my carry-on. All right, so for my personal carry-on item, I will bring this duffel bag. What's cool about this one is that it's got a little pocket in the back, so this slides over the handles of my suitcase, so I can just roll this onto the plane with me, and this fits underneath my seat. Now, the first thing I'm gonna put in this bag is I'm gonna pack the things I need to access quickly when I arrive on my flight. So I'm gonna pack a pajama. I'm also gonna pack that extra bathing suit that I put on the side. I'm also gonna pack an extra underwear and an extra pair of socks in here. And honestly, I actually forgot to pack a black maxi dress. I can use this as a cover up. If they do lose my luggage, at least I have a dress to wear. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the bag. I always pack like a little pharmacy like this with all the medication that I'm gonna need uh, if I get sick on the boat. So this is gonna go in next. Here I have all my little jewelry, so I'm gonna pack this in here. I also have my liquids bag here, so any toiletry that's liquids has to be taken out uh, when you pass security. And this, I'm gonna put it up at the top so that I can access it quickly when I'm at the airport. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is my toiletry bag. All my dry toiletries in here and my hair brushes and my hair ties it comes with like this little hook at the top. So you can hang this on your bathroom door in your cabin so you can access all your toiletries really easily and not take up any of that precious counter space. So that's gonna go in here. And lastly, I have a little travel fan that I'm just gonna bring with me and a couple of rain ponchos in case it rains and my ball cap. So I'm gonna just throw this into this bag. And I also have this little purse here that I wasn't able to fit in my suitcase. So this is gonna go at the top here. And there you go. My personal item is all ready, it's all packed. 
So that's all I'm gonna be carrying with me on the plane is this personal item as well as my carry-on suitcase. All right, so in my husband's carry-on, he's gonna be carrying the passport holder with all of our passports. He's also gonna be bringing our iPad. We downloaded a bunch of movies and shows onto here for the cruise. He is also gonna be carrying this electronics bag. This is filled with all our uh, charging wires and our charging ports, so that makes it easy to access. He's also gonna be carrying our glasses case and a couple more rain ponchos for those excursions. Okay guys, so that's pretty much what I'm bringing for my seven night cruise. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helps you out and helps you pack for your upcoming cruise. Let me know in the comments down below if you are flying and you need to pack everything into a carry-on or are you able to bring bigger suitcases and pack a little more stuff. All right guys, so I'll see you next time. Happy travels, bye.